pandas to date time. Well, you've come to that point in your data career where you have a string that looks like a date, but pandas doesn't recognize it as a date and you can't take advantage of all the date time functionality. Well, you're going to have to convert that string to a date. And the way that you do that is via pandas to date time. Let's check out how this goes. First thing that we'll do is we'll import pandas as PD. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start off with a basic conversion of a scalar string, which just means a single, uh, a single value string. So the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to do it very explicitly to start, and then I'll skip some of these steps in the future here. So first I'm going to define a variable that's called string to convert. And you can see here, I just have a regular string that is 2020 dash zero two dash zero one. So February 1st, 2020. And I'm going to print out my string, uh, my string. I'm going to print out the type of my string so that you can really see that it is just a string type. I'm going to print a blank line. And then here's where the real magic happens. I'm going to call PD dot two date time. And then I'm going to pass in my string that I want to convert. And I'm going to store that in a variable called new date. I'm going to print out the new date and I'm going to print out the type of the new date. Let's run this. And as you can see here, I got my, I have my string. I have my string type, which, yep, it is a string. And then here I have my new timestamp or my new date time, which is a pandas recognized date time. So you can do all the cool date time functionality on top of this. And you can see here, my new type is going to be a pandas timestamp timestamp. So it is a pandas timestamp. Okay. So there we passed a scalar as a, um, as a date time, but you can also pass a series. And this is what I usually do most of the time. So here I'm going to define a pandas series with a bunch of strings of four consecutive dates, all within February, 2020. And you can see down here, it says D type equals object. So this means that it's a string and it's not recognizing it as a date time. Well, all you need to do is just call PD dot two date time on your series. So here I'm going to override my series with pandas to date time with the series um, input there. Go ahead and run this and you see I get it looks like the same thing. However, the underlying object type is now date time 64. So this is important because now pandas recognizes it as a date time. So one of the really cool functionalities about pandas date time is you can actually parse different strings if they don't if they're not super clean. So here, for example, I have a list of four strings. My three date is space 01 1990 02. So this is a really gross string and there's no way pandas is going to know how to convert this all on its own. But what's super cool is that you can actually uh, tell pandas how to convert it via format codes. Now format codes is kind of like a, call it a special little like language that you can tell pandas on how to read your string sentence or your strings. And so on our blog post here, you be able to get a list of format codes, the description of them and examples. So go ahead and check that out if you need to. And so if I were to convert uh, this sentence and I need to tell pandas how to read it, well, the way I'm going to do that is via a parameter called format. So I'm going to pass my series again, but then I need to specify a format. And this is basically telling pandas, hey, here's how to read this date time. Well, I'm going to give it the sentence, my three date is space. And so this is just telling pandas, hey, look out for this. Uh, string right here, there's nothing important you need to worry about. Right when I enter a percent sign, that tells pandas, hey, something cool is about to come up. And then I tell it, look for the month, look for the year, and look for the date. And I'll store that in a variable s and I'll print it out. So then all of a sudden, you get the extracted date from this gross string. So that's one of the really cool functionalities of pandas. And there's a lot of other format codes. So go and check those out to see if that, uh, to see if you're uh, call it application applies here. Now, the next thing that we'll go over is how to convert integers to a date time. So sometimes you get, um, you get maybe a number of dates or a number of days past the uh, Unix origin. So here, for example, I'm going to convert 14554 with the units of date past the origin. So what this is saying is, hey, pandas, I want you to give me the uh, date time that is 14,554 days because I set my unit to days past the origin. And the origin here I'm saying is Unix, which is 1970, uh, January 1st. Go ahead and run this. And so it looks like 2009, November, 
uh, the sixth date is this many days days past the Unix origin there. Okay, so you can also do this, but more commonly it's going to be via seconds. And so, for example, at the time of this writing, it is six billion six hundred million three hundred fifty-five thousand eight hundred and eighty-eight seconds past Unix. I'll go ahead and run this past the Unix origin. Great. So you can see that now we get 2020, uh, September 17th, and then the timestamp that goes along with it, which is cool. Okay. But say, let's do a little bonus here. Say that you have a data set and all the data set tells you is a number of seconds past a certain time, but it doesn't give you that, um, it doesn't give you actual timestamps. Well, in this case, say I wanted to convert 160 days past a different origin. Well, you can just pass a timestamp origin to here and you'll be able to do a date relative. So for example, 2020 July 10th is 160 days past 2020 February 1st. And that's how you're going to convert a number of days past a origin that's maybe not Unix. Okay, so that is pandas to daytime, super powerful and one of the must know functions of pandas.